In 2004, the Ryder Cup returned to American shores to venerable Oakland Hills Country Club. For the first four-ball match on Friday morning, American captain Hal Sutton paired the number one and two players in the world, Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson. But there was very little magic and not much chemistry between the two top Americans as they were beaten by Colin Montgomery and Padraig Harrington, two and one. The victory over the American Dream Team certainly inspired the rest of Captain Bernhard Longer's European squad as they thrashed the United States the rest of the day, taking a six and a half to one and a half lead when play finally ended on Friday. On Saturday morning, the U.S. team had quite a hill to climb to get back in the matches and early on looked like they might be up to the task, taking the lead in all four. But a pair of English rookies, David Howell and Paul Casey, blunted the American charge by winning a hard-fought point against Jim Furyk and Chad Campbell, setting the stage for the afternoon matches. The Europeans dominated the Saturday foursomes and extended their lead to six, needing only three and a half points in the singles on Sunday to retain the cup. On that Sunday, it was fitting that the winning point was provided by Montgomery, the 41-year-old Scott, adding to his unmatched Ryder Cup resume with yet another singles victory without a loss. In the end, it was a win of epic proportions, an 18 and a half to nine and a half route that set a record for margin of victory for a European team.